ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh, the come time. on now. You all don't feel like that. Hey, kids. Bam. How you doing? Happy Friday night. Been working on some stuff today. Um, hopefully I can get it to work. <laughs> but I got some other stuff coming. So anyway, hope you all had a good week. This one may or may not be boring to some of you. Um, as you guys know, I'm a drone nut. Bam. There's Ewad. Okay. Um, and you've seen Ewad on the channel. Ewad's the one that goes 4,000 feet up in the air and then does a nosedive and blah, 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 blah. And I've actually got four complete GPS drones uh, right now. One of them's going to get torn down and get melted into my drone wing that's coming. And the other one's going to get torn down and melted into a different frame. And then we've got Ewad and then we've got the Y4. Um, and a couple of you have showed interest in EWOD and want to kind of know what is it? You know, what, what's the guts? What's the build list? You know, so I'm going to go through this and uh, point out everything that we've got in him. Hang on. And I'm going to put a parts list in the description and it's going to be a long one. Uh, but in reality, turning, making a... Um, quad into a drone cost about 30 bucks more than making it a normal quad. That 30 bucks is your GPS and magnometer, magnetometer, your compass and your GPS. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this apart and I will zoom in on this a little bit. This dome this frame actually was, a, a, it's a quadcopter frame that was sent to me for a review a really long time ago, a year, year and a half ago. Uh, it's a maker fire, I think. Um, and I'll find, I know they're, they're selling them on AliExpress or something, they're like 25 bucks. You can use any frame, guys. You don't have to use EWOD, you know, this, this configuration. A lot of people don't realize this is a small drone. This is not big. Look at this. Here's my hand. I don't have big hands. There it is. This is a 200 milliwatt. I'm 200 milliwatt. I need a drink. Hang on. Mm. 200 millimeter frame. Okay. Um, it's very small. He's not the most efficient drone for flight time. And, uh, but that's okay because EWOD, which stands for Extreme weather aerial drone. I built this guy so he can fly through snow. He can fly through rain. He can fly through high winds. He has very he has high kV, 2600 uh, kV motors, five inch props. Um, he can slice through about anything. That video I did the other day where I went 4,000 feet up in the air, there was 15 mile an hour winds out, and he handles it just fine. So GPS and running iNav, you've got. Position hold, which is GPS position hold. Flip a switch, bam, fucker sticks in the air like glue. Like you Velcro the fucker in. Uh, you've got altitude hold if you want to do that, which will not hold the position, but it'll hold the altitude. Um, and then you've got return to home, which is the oh shit switch. You know, you hit that, boom, and it flies back to home and sits down. I'm going to do another video because I'm going to be doing some drone stuff because a lot of you have... Um, become interested in building a drone and I want to help you out with that. And we'll, I'm going to talk about the fundamentals of drones. What makes a drone different than a quad? What makes them smart? Now, but that's not going to be this video. This video is about Ewad. And if you guys want to copy him or just get some ideas for what he is, uh, build them into a different frame, use different motors, use whatever. And I'm going to explain everything here real quick. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the waterproofing. This is, he is waterproof. I have literally hosed this thing off when I've had crashes and mud and pff, fired him right up. He works great. Um, and I'm probably doing an EWOD 2 coming up. I think I have a Mocha frame coming that would be perfect for a drone. And, uh, if that's the case, I'm going to melt down my 330 and put them into that frame. And if I do that, I'm going to do a build video. And, and I'm also going to do a build video on my drone wing, which will be a true drone in the sense of 
flight time is going to be about an hour and you know blah 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 um but anyway i just want to show you guys what ewad has and like i said and i'll put a a, a description in the uh comment section of this if you want to build them identical to this um this is like without doubt the coolest drone i've ever built and that's why I talk about Ewot all the time. He's my Astro Droid, as my buddy Blackhawk calls him. He's, he's my R2-D2. First off, the dome. You see these domes? I use these on all my, uh, my drones, except the Y4. These I actually get at a store. If you guys are in America, you know what Hobby Lobby is. Or any craft store like Joanne Fabrics or little craft stores. What this is, let's see if I've got some. Here's some bigger ones I use for my 450, I think. These are actually... Christmas ornament craft balls. See that? Bam! Look at that. And they have a little hooky do on there, and you can you you know fuck around with your kids, and you can you can make little Christmas ornaments. Stellar, right? They're like seventy five cents for two because they make one. Um, perfect for drone canopies. That's all they are. Go to a craft shop, uh, or it could be like a little clear see through bra for your old lady, so you can really get some. Bam! Look at them tits. You know, great. Uh, been drinking, it's Friday, guys. You know me. Um, so that's what I use. And then I just drilled four holes. I hold it over this. I drilled four holes. <laughs> and that's that just helps with the waterproofing. And if I do crash, I don't destroy my tower. You guys all know what a quadcopter tower looks like. Or what the guts of a quad look like, right? You take a Hellbender, you've got an all-in-one ESC and a flight controller or whatever else, right? <laughs> EWOD. You can, that's the nice thing about drones. You can make them as complicated or as simple as you want. A drone can be as simple as a GPS, an Omnibus F3 board, and a power distribution board, bam, and you're done. Or you can overkill like I did with Ewat, and I'm gonna show you what this is. I recently upgraded him. I used to run an all-in-one ESC, got rid of that. I'm running a 30 amp BL Heli S capable um, ESCs on here. Everything on this thing is waterproof, right? I can literally, even without the dome on, pour water over this thing and it'll be okay. Um, look at the tower on this. I put some some thought <laughs> into that tower. There is a lot of shit on here. This is the OLED, okay, which stands for uh, Organic Light Emitting Diode. Now, when you plug this thing in, what the OLED does is that. It tells you your status. There you go. Gives your HDOP, your satellite count, and all that stuff, okay? Those are about $4. Very, very, very cheap. OLEDs are great. Underneath the, and you do not need it. It's just there for looks, guys. They're like four bucks. It was a neat little trinket I put it on. That's That was really the, the whole, whole reason I did it. Um, underneath that, we have an Omnibus F3 board, okay? Now, real quick, let me see if I got one. Yeah, I do. This one's actually a dud. This is burn up. This is not a good one. I got a drawer full of these fucking omnibuses. Best flight controller made, I think. But if you look right... Man, this one is fucked up. It's all chewed. Anyway, the reason I use an Omnibus F3... Doesn't matter. Omnibus F3 or F4, they have a built-in barometer. The barometer is... Your, what detects your altitude, okay? And if you don't have a flight controller with a built-in barometer, you have to buy a separate barometer. They're only a couple bucks. I mean, literally, they're like four or five dollars, but it's one less thing. Get an Omnibus F3 or F4 board, period, for a drone. It's just, they're 22 bucks. They, they work fucking perfect. I, I have, in every drone I've ever built, I've done... In the old days, what were called APMs. We don't use those anymore. I have a drawer full if anybody wants them. And the uh, now I use Omnibus. I use Omnibus F3 almost exclusively, not F4s. But F4 is fine too. Um, so, so beneath the OLED right here, and that I just mounted on foam just for fun, is my uh, Omnibus F3 board. Built-in barometer, which is detecting your air pressure and your height. That's what holds your height. Below that, I just have a basic old uh, PDB, like a, a Maytech, whatever, $5 power distribution board, because I don't like the uh, power converters on the on these boards. They get a little warm on the Omnibus. So you use a normal PDB, 
to power your camera and all that stuff. Camera, FPV, same shit as you guys use on your, your normal quads. I use Eosheen 1000 TVLs, and I waterproof the crap out of them with conformal coat, and I slap them on there, that's it. I should have mounted this better so it has uh, a little bit more dampening because you can see jello when I really floor this thing, but that's okay. I don't, I don't fly drones for, for pretty, okay? Um, but you can, you can. Um, let's see, what else do we have in here? Beeper, now you notice I, I have this hot glued a little bit. This frame, is not made to be a drone. This frame was meant to be a racing quad, believe it or not, back in the day. So I got my beeper right there. Um, on the side, I actually have a voltage readout. Check this shit out. Bam. Let's see if you guys can see that. Look at that. 11.1 .1 volts on this bat. Okay. Um, you don't need that either. That's just, you know, it's just cool. It, it shines through the dome and it tells me when I lift off, take off, whatever I'm doing, if I'm right next to it, I can see my, what voltage that battery has when I land or whatever. I just do it on there for fun. I bought a bag of these fucking things off Banggood for like a dollar a piece or something. I bought like 30 of them. Uh, it's just a geek toy. It's all it is. Then you've got, in this case with EWOD, I've got my far view antenna, right? Pretty fucking cool. Just a standard old pagoda, nothing fancy. And you see he's curling out from the bottom here. And then I've got a 600 milliwatt cheapo VTX in here buried underneath my stack. And my stack is, you know, uh, actually metal. The screw, th these are plastic standoffs, but I have very long M3 cap screws that are metal going through there just for stability. Um, my flight controller is soft mounted, but it's not necessary to do. Uh, but my VTX is right underneath the PDB. I have no problems with heat. It's a cheapo $11 fucking Eosheen 600 milliwatt VTX with my awesome Farview Pagoda antennas. Love these fucking things. And uh, you guys saw the other day, it went up 4,000 feet and I could still see clear as day because I'm using Farview antennas and Farview helicals and all this other stuff. Uh, thing flies like a champ. Then for the GPS side of things, I prefer... The Radio Link. I can't remember the model, but they only oh SE one hundred. The they only make one model. This is with it's twenty six bucks, I think. The best GPS, which is what they call a U Blocks M eight N, is in Nancy. Uh, that's the style and the protocol. This is the best best GPS you can put on a drone, bar none. I will fight anybody on it. I've tried them all. Trust me, this thing gets satellites like bam. They're, the warm-up time is like five seconds. I can be in my bedroom and the fucking thing gets satellites. I can be outside, it gets satellites. It's just absolutely stunning. Love this GPS. The other ones I use uh, are these. I don't know if you can see this. Here's my 450. There's a U-Blox there too. HJ GPS, whatever. Um, they all work about the same, but this one is my favorite by far. I have two qua two drones with these and two drones with the other one. And uh, my Y4 drone's actually running the other one. It works just as well. It really does. Um, and then this is the receiver antenna coming up for my Radio Link receiver. Now, just because this is a Radio Link GPS has nothing to do with your transmitter, guys. If you're running Tyrannus or whatever, this is just a GPS module. It has nothing to do with that. It's just made by Radio Link. But this is for my Radio Link receiver for my, my transmitter. Uh, I'm running 10 channel S bus on this with, uh, like I said, D shot. I'm running multi shot on the ESCs because for some reason iNav doesn't run D-Shot. I don't know why, but they don't even have it in there as a selection. Kind of kind of weird. Um, so that's that. Very, very, very basic. So if we take off our battery, you guys may have watched my video where I installed wireless Bluetooth communications. I put a Bluetooth communication port from the bottom, goes up, into the Omnibus, and I literally take a Bluetooth module, stick it in there, power it up, I can go through my phone or through iNav on my computer, I can set waypoints, I can say go to, it's harder than this, Not it's not hard, but it's more involved. I can say go to Black Hawk's house, shit on his head, and then fly home. Boom, and it does it. Very fucking cool. Uh, I don't even need to hook a USB plug into my 
uh, flight controller anymore at all. I can literally just stick that USB in there. I'm sorry, Bluetooth in there, bam, connect it through my laptop, and I have iNav is like beta flight only for drones, okay, if you guys don't know, and I can con communicate fully. Now, the thing that makes uh, EWOD a little bit unique is the fact that he is all-terrain. He's like the, the four-wheeler of the fucking sky because he's running five-inch blades. I can't get any bigger on here because you can see they come damn close anyway, plus my dome, plus my GPS, yeah, you know, it, it just doesn't. So it's not super efficient on time. You're not going to get a half an hour flight time or anything like that, but I can put in a 3S 2200 piece of shit zippy. I bought this for an airplane a long time ago, or I can run, hang on a minute, where the fuck is it? Not that one. Anyway, I can run a 1300 4S that we all run on our quads, or, there it is, I can run my 4S 2500, or my 5000 milliamp 3S, uh, yeah, that's a 3S, uh, anything I want, pretty much, except for Fat Boy. That's the only one I don't think it could lift this guy off the ground, that I made this guy, Fat Boy, he's, he's big, 5000 milliamp 4S. That's 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 a brick. Um, but anyway, he can run about any battery and fly just fine. If you guys watch the the 4,000 foot takeoff that I did the other day, that was actually running. Oh, fuck, man, I tell you what, I would lose my fucking ass. Anyway, that was running a 4,000 milliamp uh, 3S actually. Because I wanted the pay, I wanted the time out of it. So, um, and by the way, this this board I showed you guys is a F4 Airbot. This is not an Omnibus. My bad. Been drinking. Okay. Anyway, uh, so that's about it. So let's go through the cost of this. Um, Twenty six bucks. Five bucks for the OLED. Twenty two bucks for the Omnibus. Five bucks for the power distribution board. Eleven bucks for the VTX. Six bucks for the antenna. Uh, eight dollars a piece, so thirty-two bucks for the ESCs, ten bucks for the camera. Receiver is negligible, whatever your receivers cost. Um, the motors, these are just cheapo fucking um, Racer Star twenty-six hundred racing editions uh, because I have a drawer full of them. I actually ordered new motors; they're going to be here next week. We're going to give you an upgrade. Um, so those are eight, nine bucks a piece on those. And the frame is 22 bucks. And you can go with a much cheaper frame. So all in all, this literally costs, if you leave off this and this little voltmeter that you don't need either, that's like a dollar. Um, really, this is a standard quad. 2,600 kV motors, Omnibus F3 flight controller, which a lot of us use in, in normal birds. Uh, here's an example. Where's my purple 215? Here's my purple 215, free, you know, uh, acro quad. I'm running an Omni, but the exact same flight controller in this that I'm running in this. Um, so really the only added expense, if you wanted to build a drone versus a quad, drones are smart, quads are dumb, is this, the GPS. 26 bucks, bam, wire that fucker in, bam. Put on iNav, you have a drone. That's it, okay? That is EWOD. Oh, yeah, I almost left out the best part. His landing gear. You know what these are? You don't need landing gear, guys, but I just, the way I did it, I wanted landing gear on it. Um, you know what these are? These are for child-proofing your home. If you go to the, your hardware store and you ask them for baby-proof door locks, you know, for your cabinets, they come with these things and a little hook and you put them on your cabinets, boom. I use them for landing gear. They've already got the cut, the slots cut in them. I just cut off the one side, trimmed them down a little bit, bam, done, landing gear. Um, so that is EWOD. If you look at, uh, a lot of my buddies out there are liking my Y4 drone. Now look, the Y4 is a 270. I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, you guys have all seen this. I did a video on my Y4 270. Uh, Ewad is much smaller. He's a 200, okay? Point to point. Now, this is no longer a 270. This is like a fucking 350 or whatever, but you get the idea. Ewad is very small. He's very eh, itty bitty. Uh, the Y4, 
It used to have a cap over the GPS. I crashed. Um, exact same guts. The only difference is he has a lot more lights. So if we take this battery, plug him in, I've got super bright headlights. Very bright. Like you can see these, hang on, a mile away. Literally. I know it's really hard to see right now, but trust me, these are bright. I've got my uh, tail section, okay, that lights up and does all sorts of cool stuff. I've also got indicator lights on the back. Let me kill these lights. Uh, there we go. Still really probably can't pick it up. But once those turn green, means you have your GPS. Then I've got a landing light on the bottom, just for fun. Um, so he's got a little bit more bells and whistles. Still has the OLED. Um, I didn't put a voltmeter in this one. Did I? No, I guess I didn't. Which is okay. That's It's just for fun. That voltmeter's just... Okay. Uh, the OLED Omnibus F3. This one is running a 4-in-1 flight uh, ESC 30 amp. Uh, I gotta tuck those away. Same camera, same everything. But anyway, that's the Y4 version. The only difference is really this guy's not waterproof. EWOD is. Okay. EWOD's my baby. I love that fucker. He's like he's my R2D2. So anyway, I'm gonna put a build list down at the bottom of this. For you guys that want to experiment and play with these, uh, one of my buddies I talk to on a daily basis, uh, his name's Warlock, actually his name's Felix, but his, uh, you guys might see Warlock making comments on the, um, on the videos that I do, and he's sending me some of his birds that he wants me to do a sex change on and to make them into, make one drone out of some of these old quads he has. So I think I might do a video on that to show you guys what a sex change is in the quad world. Uh, so we're going to take a quad and turn it into a drone. So that's going to be kind of cool. Um, but anyway, that is the skivvy. If you guys want, I'm going to do some drone videos, period. I love drones. Drones are fun. I love my quads. I love my micros. I love my funky Y4s. I like all that junk. But I love drones. They're just fun. You know, it's like if you get into, I fly these in acro, by the way, my small ones are set up in acro and I hit the ocean and I hit uh, GPS hole, bam, they level out and they stick in the sky. I hit return to home, boom, they come home. Or I can go 4,000, 3,000 feet in the air, which you shouldn't do because that's illegal. You can go 400 feet in the air and you can just do flips and all sorts of weird shit. You can practice your aerobatics and you got plenty of time to recover because you're falling from 400 feet, or in my case, 3,000 feet. And EWOD just does fine. And the bigger the drone, sometimes the better they handle. I think everybody that is into quads should build a drone because a drone makes you, it makes you think more. There's a lot more. You can ask my buddy Primo. I'm helping him build one too right now. And, uh, there's a lot more to it, kids. It's, it's, you know, you guys that ask me, hey, if I send you stuff, will you build me a drone? I'll be happy to. Send me the stuff. I'll build it. I'll send it back to you. I don't care about that. But the one thing I do demand of you is the fact that you have to hop on GitHub and read all of iNav. iNav is Betaflight. It's a fork of Betaflight, only it's for drones. Read it, know it, forward, fucking backward, and everything. Because if you don't understand what's working, you can't utilize the functions. Bam. That's it. So that is EWOD. Um, but those are basically the components to make any quadcopter drone. Okay? And I'll be putting up a video on my wing drone that I'm making, which is very unorthodox for me because I'm not into planes. I love planes in the real world, but I, I suck at flying planes, but I'm going to build a drone wing and I've got everything here. They're going to have my drone wing, just to give you guys an idea, is going to have four cameras on it. It's going to have three FPV and one high definition, and I'll be able to switch between the three FPVs. One's going to be out the front, one's going to be pointing down, one's going to be pointing in the back. I can switch by my radio which FPV camera I'm looking at. It's going to have auto takeoff, auto land, return to home, uh, flight time of, I'm guessing, about an hour um, you name it, lights, everything. It's going to be a fucking UFO, guys. It's going to be very, very cool. Um, and I'm going to do videos of that, too. And if you don't want to watch them, I understand because I am a quad guy. I'm a quad station. That's what I do, you know. But I've had a lot of my friends on the channel here uh, ask me about building a drone. So we're going to do a little bit of drone stuff. And 
I hope it helps. Hopefully, if you guys dig it, great. If you don't, fuck it. That's cool, too. Stick to quads. Stick to freestyle. It's all fun. And uh, keep the shine side up. Talk to you later. Bye.